Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarkis and on today's video I'm gonna show you how I paint a little sea creature. For this painting I'm gonna be using primary blue, ivory black, ultramarine blue, cadmium yellow, medium magenta, and for brushes any brush will do. I'm also going to be using Golden's Thalo Green, Purple, and Thalo Blue. And also some of Lucas Acrylics. For my palette, I have a used top. And here's my reference picture. I always start by doing a rough sketch. I'm not really concerned about how accurate it is or how tight the sketch is. I'm just trying to get the essence of the subject. Here I mixed titanium white and ivory black to get a medium gray and that's what I'm using to do the outline. I saw a picture of a sea dragon last year and I knew from the moment I saw it that I wanted to paint it. I find them very interesting and magical, that's why I thought it would be fun to make a painting of it. I'm mixing ultramarine blue and titanium white to make the background darker and here I'm putting a little bit of thalo green I'm also using brushes sizes 4 and 8 to do the background And here I'm glazing with Thalo Blue. Here I start glazing with Golden's Hansa Yellow. Here I begin outlining with Golden's Dioxazine Purple.
and now I'm just mixing yellow medium and red light to get an orange and I'm using that for the body Here I'm using purple to add more detail. At this stage I was playing around with the background, I was trying to see if maybe putting plants will add interest to the painting or perhaps adding some gold color. So I, I put it down but then I realized that it was too light so I started glazing to make it darker. And here I was just playing around trying to see what worked for this painting. I was trying out different colors, different values, adding some more plants, some more highlights. That's my palette. Adding yellow to see if uh, maybe that will work. I was just having fun and trying out new things. At this point I didn't quite like how the background looked, I thought that it needed to be darker so I started adding more glaze. At the end I decided to remove the background because I thought that it was taking away from the sea dragon. That perhaps doing a simple background was better. Sometimes less is more. So after many glazes it was still not dark enough for me so I used the golden shading gray to further darken the background. Here I'm just continuing to work on the detail. When it comes to details, I could go on and on forever, but I like my paintings to look like paintings, so I just do enough detail to make it look interesting.
and I think I'm done. Here's a closer look. Here's the finished piece. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.